guys welcome back to the channel back on another video on the Aprilia it's been a minute or it's been a minute for me guys I filmed a lot of content like a couple weeks ago and then I got into an injury which led to me not being able to ride for pretty much a week so believe it or not I haven't been on a bike in uh, I want to say let's see I think like nine days so like a little over a week and I've been dying to ride I was supposed to ride yesterday I was tuning the R1 uh, retuning the R1 and a new video coming on that but hopefully coming very soon when that's all done uh, with but yeah I was supposed to film uh, video riding the R1 but some complications happened uh, while retuning it so that got a little delayed Ooh, GTR but yeah, I feel better now, so I can ride more comfortably without worrying about the injury. I didn't get injured like riding or anything like that. It was just like a random gym uh, kind of like side injury, but like I couldn't pretty much like have pressure on my head with the helmet and the wind and all that. So I had to take a little break so it doesn't get worse. I really miss being on a bike. It's crazy how like it becomes like part of your kind of like daily routine in a way where you're like you need to be on a bike like get that kind of like feeling going you know. Ooh. Aprilia is popping. But yeah I got some news for you guys. We are doing another track day officially. I believe in uh, yeah, in like a month. I do need you guys' help to choose which bike I'm gonna take. I'm most likely gonna be taking the R1 again. I feel like that's gonna be kind of like the R1M is gonna be more of like my kind of track bike because it used to be my old daily and it's the bike with the most miles and pretty much to the least value since it has the most miles right now. And it's an amazing track bike too. I already have a lot of like track parts on it, like clip-ons uh, and a bunch of other like random stuff so it's just like a great track bike so i'm probably going to be using that for the track but let me know if you guys want to see the really for example on the track instead or whatever you guys think i'm not going to be taking the h2 that's a drag bike uh maybe one day if i get another h2 maybe like i'll be taking that to the track but you know it's not going to be like a regular thing just like may i might do an h2 once on the track but we're going with a lot of friends and stuff like that so I want like a proper track bike which most likely is going to be the R1M. The V4R is like too, I put in too much money and work and effort into that bike so I feel bad going like that hard on the bike plus if something would happen to that bike you know it's like way way more expensive than any of the other bikes so it just doesn't make sense even though I know I know it's like that kind of dedicated track bike and all that or not dedicated but it's like the best track bike like that's what the v4 is it's like you know the track machine but you know i don't want to risk such an expensive motorcycle at the tracks is you know i never kind of like take it easy on the track i mean you're not supposed to that's the whole point of going to the track but yeah about the r1m that bike needs spark plugs i need new tires i'm probably gonna get some axle sliders i'm gonna put aftermarket fairings on it you know it's like just to keep the bike as safe as possible and also like have it running nice and great on the track yeah but for today's video i'm literally like i have no no goal no nothing to do i just really wanted to run so we're going to meet up with a friend of mine and after that um i'm actually going to be going to the courthouse to pay for a ticket and after that we're probably going to go to a dealership and just kind of like ride around and enjoy a nice day out because today it is hot but it's not as hot as it's happened What the hell? Why have we not been out on the streets ripping around?
Imagine getting pulled over like right before we get I get to the court to deal with one ticket and get pulled over <laughs> again. That would be funny but not. You see my wheelies? <laughs> I really been the coppers right there. I was like, oh well, you, you'll watch another video. I'm not even gonna roast you man. It was like this. <laughs> no, there was two. I did one little one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, imagine if I get pulled over right before I go deal with a ticket and have get another ticket. Oh, I know, me too. It was, it fast. <laughs> it's been forever for me. We are back. Took care of the ticket. And now we're gonna go to some dealership that apparently is local, but I've never been to. I've passed by apparently many times, and they have exotic cars and bikes. So we're gonna go check it out. The pollen. I'm not gonna even gonna touch that because my hand's gonna be all yellow. How do you guys like the new gloves? The Druid 4s. So I have the Druid 2s, which are the ones that I initially crashed in long, long, long time ago. And then the white and blacks, those are the Druid 3s that you guys like. And these are the new Druid 4s. So they're pretty much all black with the writing in white. They're different than my black and white ones. The new gen. I feel the fit feels honestly amazing for a brand new glove. I'm very surprised. All right, let's see if it starts. Hey, we got the startup. Alright, let's leave here before I get another ticket. Probably wasn't a smart idea to take one of my loudest bikes to the courthouse. <laughs> Gets another ticket, paying for a ticket. Oh, this bike sounds too good. This bike actually performs the worst on my channel for whatever reason. Aprilia fans, where are you guys at? Come on. I think it's just because it's a smaller niche. Aprilia isn't as popular as some of the other bikes that I have. So that's why like the views and all that aren't as good. But yeah, I've always thought in the future, if I find like another a vehicle that I'm really into and I had to sell a vehicle, I was thinking about this one, but every time I ride it in here, I'm like, nah, this this thing is like, it sounds too good, and I really enjoy riding it. I recognize this area. I know exactly where we are. This is the, how ironic that I'm talking about the Aprilia, and this is the bank that I stopped by to get cash to go buy this bike. Yeah, <laughs> that was a fun time. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. I pretty much decided that I want this bike and bought it same day, all cash. I literally just stopped by the bank, took out the amount in cash and went back to the dealership and just bought this bike. Good times, I think that video is over a million views already. But yeah, how ironic that I was talking about like this bike and you know, me having it in the future if I ever sold it and this is the origins. I was here with the V4R so I can go buy this bike. That was, now that I'm thinking about it, that was almost half a year ago. It seemed like way longer ago, to be honest. Look at the airplane taking off. <laughs> Whoa. What the? Bro, we just got sprayed <laughs> I think they're like watering the grass or something over there and we just got completely sprayed nah -uh. Good news is that it's hot, so we'll dry out quick. Hopefully the lens isn't too smudged up. Woo. I thought we're going. Tell them 
my videos I'm gonna keep them like pretty much just us riding around because I I see some of the comments that you guys want to see like more riding you know like the trip of going to wherever we're like riding to so I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more just leave raw footage of just riding around canyon ride sometime soon not soon actually it's been really really hot and the canyon is probably gonna be like scorching hot but kind of soon you know when it cools down a little bit I see a very interesting Ducati. <laughs> these are kind of cool. Yo, imagine mobbing in one of these. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, just looking around. Thank you. Oh, Tuano. S1000. Oh, they have a lot of. Whoa, this one's pretty cool. And it sold? No, Okay. It sold? No, no. This was actually really clean. I really like the design he did. Oh, I see, I see. The wider body. Okay. Yeah, this is an 18. It has the silver frame. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the 18 is the only one that came with the silver, but he has a nice carbon cover on it. Looks pretty good. A monster. That'd be cool to look, just mob around. I think you guys wanted to see our... Actually, I think you guys wanted me to get this f uh, for like the rental business that I have. And package the Accra. Uh huh. Ooh. All right, I'll check it out. I see. I see it. <laughs> Ooh. I think that's the HP4 race. Holy! The entire frame is. Yeah, I think it's the entire frame is carbon. I don't think it's a cover. Whoa, I think this is the really expensive HP4. Like the $80,000 one, if I'm not wrong. Or something like that. This thing is really cool. Look at this. That's over 80k, I'm pretty sure. That's the Super Legera of BMW, pretty much. But it's not straight legal. Ooh, how much is it going for? I think it's 59 now. That's actually not bad. Yeah. Oh, 200? 200 miles on it? Mm. It's in cash, and then so um, 
And this one he's just looked at. He never has on a racetrack. But that's the real one. You know, so that's the real uh, HP4. How much horsepower? This is nice. Not not sure to be honest. Yeah, this is a full on. Look at the frame. It's full carbon. On such a light bike, yeah. Wet? Bro, that's crazy. The problem is, I don't think you can even register it, right? For wet weight of 377. That's what BMW claims. Ooh. Yeah, this one's real nice. I like this one a lot. Alright, I'll pause here and I will resume if we ride more. And if not, then I will just end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and ride safe.